Hey, oh my Planet Zoo friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another Planet Zoo video. Today, we're going to show you some awesome stuff. Unlimited blueprints. Yes, we can exceed the 4K blueprint with this little tricky method that I'm going to show you in today's video. All sorts of different things covering barriers, how to save terrain stamps, and all sorts of cool stuff. So stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, welcome back everybody. If you guys are new here, be sure to smash that subscribe button. If you end up enjoying the video or find it helpful in any way, leave a like. And if you enjoy everything that I do here on the show, please do check out my Patreon page as you can support it further and every dollar is appreciated. And with that out of the way, let's get right into today's video, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be teaching you guys how to do some unlimited blueprints through the barrier system. So let me show you something that I have created here as an example. Check this out. <laughs> It might take a second here. So as you guys may or may not know, Planet Coaster has a 4K blueprint limit. And I believe that is the case with Planet Zoo as well. But if you use a barrier, check this out. We can actually get, oh, there's 15,000 objects in there. <laughs> and now if I were to go in and edit my barrier and delete it, we have 15,000 objects sitting there. So this is a great way of sharing your insanely large blueprints with your friends. I sent this over to Synchros and he was in fact able to get it into his park. So how would you do that? If you made something extremely detailed, all you gotta do is surround it with a barrier, put a gate on it, and now that is defined as a barrier and you save the blueprint. And there you go. There's the test one. We go new blueprint, test two, test two, create blueprint. Oh, we need a tag. And there we go, test two. We can place it down again. Now, you might be thinking, okay, that's cool. I can do unlimited blueprints. So if you build something very intricate, now you can share it with this method. Well, what other uses can be uh, done with this? Well, what I didn't realize at first, let me change the time of day here. I didn't realize that uh, barriers saved the terrain inside. So if we go to the blueprints here, uh, Frontier actually provided some pre-made blueprints. Small primate habitat. As you can see here, if we plop this down, look at that, it comes with all the terraforming. If you make your own custom habitat and you do all this terrain work and make a cave, that gets saved when you upload this barrier. Everything within this barrier gets saved. Now, the unfortunate thing is there's no way to save things on the outside. However, if I were to say, take a prop and stick it in the fence, it will save that because it's connected to the fence. As long as it's touching the barrier, it will bring that object in. So unfortunately, if you have all these cool viewing areas outside and decorations that you want to save, you're going to have to select those. Let's just pretend like these were on the outside of our barrier. We're gonna have to group those up and we're gonna have to do some sort of alignment cube and save this up separately. And then when we place that down, we're gonna have to bring in the second blueprint and place it. So a little bit unfortunate it there but there's some other cool things that we could show you guys so say you uh, made this amazing sculpture over here and you're like oh I want to put this everywhere in my park have no fear barriers are here put our gate down grab this save the blueprint Let's save it over our test too get a nice little screenshot there update blueprint we go to our blueprints there she is see it doesn't look like it's there but we plop it down <laughs> there we go so if you want to get uh, valley of the spooky heads you can now essentially save your terrain with your friends so if you're sitting there and you make this amazing sculpture that took you forever you can outline it with a barrier and send it off to a friend. You could save a mountain. If you make it the most detailed mountain, uh, let me show you here. We have like, let's just pretend this is a giant park section. We got these beautiful mountains. We have buildings and everything. Well, let's surround this with a barrier. There we go, we have our barrier. Let's save it as a blueprint. Save it over our test two again. Go into our blueprints. And now we can literally plop down our park entrance and we could go in and delete that barrier. We've essentially just recreated a whole section of our park over in another area. <laughs> the, the possibilities are freaking endless, you guys. So yes, if you come in here and you make this nice waterfall mountain and you do all this crazy stuff, surround the whole thing in the barrier, save it, and you have essentially a stamping tool to recreate that. Heck, you could basically save, if you built an entire park, you could essentially Put the whole, I mean, let's do it. <laughs> 
Now, one thing to note before we go in ahead and do this, it won't save barriers within barriers. So it won't save your habitats within habitats. So we would only be doing the scenery of our parks, but it is good to know. Um, so we would have to go ahead and remove these barriers. All right, there are no more barriers within our parameters, but we have this beautiful park we have built here. We throw on a, a little barrier there. Let's go ahead and uh, save this as a blueprint. Let's go over onto our test two here. There's our beautiful park, update blueprint. <laughs> I might just be crashing the game at this point. Wait for it, wait for it. I might have crashed the game. Oh, there she goes. All right, let's go to the main menu into a new map and see if we can bring over our park. And hey, why don't we do it in a different biome this time? Maybe you wanted to see uh, what your zoo would look like in a desert or even an Arctic biome. So here we go. We're grabbing our park. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, and place. Obstructed. Oh, <laughs> there she goes. Okay. So some things didn't work out quite as intended. I wonder what happened to our little guys there. <laughs> But everything else seems to be good. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. So we brought over our <laughs> park entrances times two, as along with all the uh, enclosures that we had. And we would just have to re-barrier them, essentially. Just put some barriers around these, uh, fill it back up with water, and there we go. We would have our uh, habitats brought back in. We even have our 15,000 blueprint brought in. <laughs> And all you need to do now is get rid of that barrier. Wow. And that is super satisfying. Boop. <laughs> it even brought in the grass with it. That is great. So would you look at that? We imported our other park into this part, although we did lose these guys. So it does look like there's a height restriction. However, we can raise the height of the barrier and maybe that would have saved it. But we did defi definitely duplicate these guys, as you guys saw earlier, so we can do that. Uh, I wouldn't recommend doing this gigantic blueprint like this, but I just wanted to test the possibilities here with you guys today and see if it was actually possible. And in fact, we proved that it is possible with some minor hiccups. But if there's a section of your park that you're working on and you're like, you know what, I really don't like uh, the biome that I chose or I don't like the direction that I'm taking this park, um, let me save this off. Or maybe you went bankrupt and you're like, oh man, I put a lot of time into this. I'm playing franchise mode and now I've gone bankrupt. I don't want to lose all my progress, but maybe you want to take a portion of what you built over to the sandbox mode or a new franchise. Obviously, you're gonna, if, you, if you save it off as a blueprint and you go into a new franchise, you're going to have to save up that kind of bank and money to be able to place it again. So it will cost you. Uh, however, for sandbox mode, this is extremely useful. I'm saving multiple buildings blueprints together like this in a layout of a town you could make a whole strip or section or a western town or whatever you want a little African village I guess not Western but you guys get it uh, make a little African village and you could save that whole thing off and send it to your friend and they can now put that African village into their zoos the the possibilities are really endless at this point and you can do definitely a lot with this all I really wanted to show you guys or what when uh, synchros brought this to my attention I didn't realize say Saving the barriers. I didn't realize saving these habitats actually brought in all the terrain with it, which is really phenomenal stuff. The only real downside is it doesn't take the exterior into account, uh, which is quite unfortunate. But I did come up with a workaround. So if you guys are interested in knowing what that is, say you have a bunch of terrain that you've done on the outside, just put some circles around, and you wanted that to kind of be a part of this. Well, what you can do, you can create a null barrier that goes all the way around the outside of this barrier and what you're going to want to do is leave a little bit of a tunnel so now what you've effectively done is you've created almost like a c-shape like a donut and now you can save this off as a barrier save blueprint save that over our test two and now we can save this guy as a blueprint save blueprint test one so now what we want to do we're going to put our exterior stuff down and it'll bring in everything that we did with that and then we can go in and place our interior stuff down and we've effect effectively brought in the outside stuff along with the uh, inside stuff. So if you have a lot of stuff that you built there, you can kind of do this like donut shape to bring it in. Um, that is only if you have terrain. If you have just a whole bunch of objects around the outside, I would suggest grabbing it all and saving it as 
one group and then you bring that group in and place it however i believe there's that 4k limit so again this if you have thousands of pieces tens of thousands of pieces around it this is another option to get your stuff in so the bar barrier system actually creates some really cool possibilities in planet zoo you guys and uh it's pretty exciting stuff and obviously the number one thing about this is being able to bring in that water those uh hills all that stuff along with your blueprint and share that so you don't have to worry about like oh this is how you set it up and it's quite it's really quite remarkable the only thing i wish you could do is uh have things saved on the outside in one big go but there are workarounds so that that definitely opens Opens up some uh, possibilities so there you go guys just a fun quick little video showing you some of the crazy possibilities that the barrier system brings to planet zoo and uh, as you saw here we had 15,000 pieces <laughs> saved to a, uh, a blueprint essentially and I did upload it to the steam workshop and uh, Synchros did place it down. It works just fine. So if you end up making a 16,000 piece building with interior stuff and all sorts of amazing stuff, just throw a barrier around it and throw it up to the workshop. There you go. <laughs> I don't know if Frontier is going to fix this or if they're just going to leave it because, hey, it's working. Uh, hopefully we don't uh, <laughs> crash the Steam Workshop. <laughs> But have fun with it, guys. I mean, even just for personal use, moving like your park entrance to the back and readjusting things is extremely useful, in my opinion. And I can see all sorts of uh, uses for this, such as, oh, I made this cool little mountain. I'm going to duplicate it and put another one over there, delete the barrier after. So much fun things to be had with this. So uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and uh, what kind of creative ideas and things that you're going to use this for. And once again, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like if you're new to the channel subscribe for more planet zoo videos and uh thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye now